Hi, my name is James from Electronics123, and I'm going to demonstrate how to set up an FN-BCO4-TB. First things first is that you need a micro SD card with a viable way to read it on your computer, such as a micro SD USB reader and writer, which you can find on our website. Start off by pulling up the USB that you're using, which is boot F for me, it can be different on your computer and drag and drop the mp3, MP3 or WAV files you want to put onto it. You only can have four, but you need to, re you need to name them 001, 002, 003, or 004. These correspond with the buttons you're going to press, such as 1, 2, 3, and 4. Next, you're going to create a new text document, and you're going to edit it. Here, you're going to put the different trigger modes you want. So different trigger modes correspond with different numbers. Zero is a trigger mode of pulse interruptible one-on-one -on -one playback, which means that when you hit the button, it'll play it all the way through the MP3 file, but if you hit the button again, it'll start it over. One is the loop playback which as long as you hold the button it'll keep looping your mp3 file but once you release it it'll stop the mp3 file even midway through. Two is the pulse non-interruptible one-on-one playback. This means that when you hit the button it'll keep playing the mp3 file and you can't interrupt it. It'll only play it once though. Finally three is the standard mp3 key mode playback. In this mode, the different mu buttons different correspond with different features, such as 1 means previous, 2 is next, 3 is play and pause, and 4 is to stop. When you want to save this, hit File, Save As, and then put the Save As type as All Files, and then rename your file as read.cfg. Okay. Now you have a CFG file in there. The CFG file is what the board reads to understand which trigger mode you have. So as long as it has the corresponding number in it, then it'll use that mode. If you want to change it, you're going to have to delete it and do that process over again. When you're done with all this, you can just eject your USB and take your SD card out and plug it into your board. When you plug it into the board, make sure it clicks because that means it's all the way in. Now, if you have any questions over this, our page on the FN-BCO4-TB has a FAQ section in our documentation and downloads. And if you cannot find your question on there, Go to the top of the page and hit the Contact Us tab. It'll have all of our information for you to contact us.